Hey everyone, I hope this video finds you well and rested and making the most of today. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so excited to have you. I am Christopher, and if you like lifestyle, luxury, skincare, product reviews, planning, and organization, look no further because you found the perfect place for yourself because those are the things that I love and those are the things I love to share with all of you. Many of you have been asking me to talk more about kindness and self-love and motivation and inspiration, and I thought about it long and hard. And I think there's one place we need to start if we're going to have that conversation. And that's kind of how you manifest that within yourself. And I think the way you do that, actually, I know the way you do that, is by creating a vision board. The whole idea is to surround yourself with positive images, affirmations, and aspirations to continually to trigger those thoughts within your mind. Now, I have a different perspective on vision boards than I think most. I think when you start putting material things that you wish to gain, it becomes something very different. If anything, I think it can become a negative factor within your life. So you'll see that my perspective when we dive into my vision board is slightly different, and I'm going to explain why. My thoughts around having wish lists around material things that you want, it means that you're not being grateful and thankful for the things you already have. So I think the idea behind vision boards is not about wanting monetary or material things. I think it's more about the type of life you want to live and the type of things you want to attract to yourself to make your life better, to make you better. There's a lot of research around vision boards and they all consistently claim that most of the time you will achieve 80 to 90% of the things on your vision board because of the law of attraction. When it's constantly visual and you're constantly subconsciously thinking about it, you tend to pull in the things in your life that you want on that vision board or help get you closer to the vision you've created. So I'm really excited to talk through my process in making the vision board, sharing mine with you, and then eventually you better be sharing yours with me over on Instagram. So without further ado, I'm gonna talk through the process of how I make my vision board. The first step in creating your vision board is creating an environment where you want to be and where you can think really clearly. For me, that is my kitchen. And I take the time to set up books that inspire me, light a candle, play my favorite music, get my favorite pair of scissors, make a cup of coffee or tea, and really get into a mental state where I can be super reflective. The first thing I do is start brainstorming categories and seeing how many I come up with that truly, truly are important to me and where I wanna pour effort and reflection and concentration in. Once I decide on my categories, which for me was five, but could be three for you or four, I went ahead and got a bulletin board. Now I picked mine up at Target, I think it was $15, and I just really liked it. It was really minimal, really simple, but you could DIY one. You could totally do this on foam board or poster board and just glue your pictures on. But I like the idea of using push pins so I can take things off, add things on really simply without having to take it off the wall each time. Then I went in and divided up my sections I used this really, really cool washi tape that has a marble print on it. I love the graphic white and black of it as well. And I knew I wanted it to be very geometric and very linear. So I ended up with a very geometric angular pattern. I opted to keep my tape down permanently to kind of keep the section separated. You could also let them all organically flow together. It is totally your style and what resonates with you. After that, I pulled in all those magazines that you know you have laying around the house and I just simply tore out pages of things that resonated with me and laid them within the section. After I was done tearing all those pictures out, that's when I went in and refined my cutting around them and just pinned them up to my board. I was really happy with how it turned out and like I said, I went with pins because I want some flexibility on taking things off and changing things up as time progresses. Here is my vision board and how it turned out and I'm really happy with it. In my relationship section, I really thought about my relationships with myself and others, and I like this picture of this couple having a quiet night at home. I wanna have more moments like that with Steven. And then I also wanna spend more time eating and drinking and socializing with our friends. Lastly, I put these words kinder and gentler. My worst critic is myself, and I love to always counteract that negative talk that we all struggle with in our own heads. So I wanted a daily reminder to be kinder and gentler with myself. And I went into my career finance section. I put this little house made of money just to remind me to really think about purchases when I'm making them and to save a little bit more. I'm a pretty good saver, but I could do better. 
then I thought this picture really resonated the idea of creativity, which I'm really finding in this social media outlet and I'm really enjoying. And I want to continue to push the box and push my creativity to really allow things to flourish. Lastly, I know in both careers that I need to be bolder because sometimes I like to sink to the background. And lastly, as a leader and an achiever, I wanted to think about those two words because I think they are really powerful. And there's a lot of responsibility that comes with being a leader and I never want to forget that and I want to make sure that I'm putting my best foot forward every time. This next section was fun and it was a lot of fun to put together. For me this isn't where like I put a picture of a Mercedes or material things because you know how I feel about that. Instead it's little things I want to add to my life that will bring some joy or just a quote that really reminds me of how I want to live. First was a house plant because I am terrible with plants in general, so I want to incorporate more into our home. Then this idea of the perfect dose of color and pattern, you guys know in my home and in my wardrobe, I'm pretty neutral. So I want to start to explore more colors and patterns within both of those realms. I also really love this quote, squeeze more joy out of life. For me, that really resonated and to find every single little moment and what is the joy in it and what is the happiness in this moment and what can you be so grateful for and take away. Next, I really love this. It says, this land was made for you and me. Um, and it resonated with me on a couple of levels. One, I just think in the world that we live in, I want to remember to treat everyone with kindness and be super accepting of everything and really listen to people's ideas. So that's one side of how I looked at it. The other one is I want to experience more places with Steven. So this idea of travel and adventure with him. Um, so I kind of had that quote on two different thought processes. So I was like, it has to go on the vision board. And then lastly, it's the idea of gratitude. And it says, this is the life. And I have been so incredibly blessed that I never want to forget that this is the life I've been given and it's pretty darn good. So down here is my physical wellness and my mental wellness. And you'll see I left this blank because I wanted a lot of accountability to fill it up. First, the words strength and warrior wanted really resonated with me and that led me to really reflect on my fitness process. And right now I've been really tied to a scale. So I found this picture of a busted scale and I've decided that I'm no longer going to compare myself to the number there. Instead, I'm really gonna push myself to become stronger and more athletic and push myself in those ways and get the results that I want without thinking about a number, but instead about how I feel and how I'm looking to myself. So I will not be stepping on a scale for a very, very long time. Lastly, Steven and I have an adventure of going vegan and we've been doing it solidly for a week and I'll tell you, I've really been enjoying it. So I put veggie lover, <laughs> a picture of a salad and then run, eat, drink. I wanna get back into running. I was running a lot that had a knee injury that laid me up for some time. So I wanna get back into running and I'm setting a goal of running a half marathon in September. And then over on my relaxing and recharging mental and spiritual wellness side, I have relax and recharge right on there books because I love reading it is one of my greatest escapes and it's something I do daily and then a picture of a bathtub because that is probably w the place where I do the best thinking and the most reflection on myself. So you will see that I love to keep a lot of white space or negative space within my vision board because I like to be pushed to be constantly reflecting as I'm flipping through magazines or looking online to think of things that resonate and tie in with all the things that I'm concentrating and focusing on and then add to this. That is also why I opt for the push pin idea because it's just a lot easier to tack on. The last thing you need to do with your vision board is put it in a place where you see it every single day. That is my vision board. It is my thought process and kind of how I go about setting it up. Now my challenge to you is for you to create your own vision board, take a picture of it, and tag me over on Instagram so I can celebrate with you. If you like this video, make sure you click subscribe because we are going to talk about this topic a lot more and also update each other on the things that are coming true from our vision boards. Now, I will leave you like I always leave you. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone and it will be returned. Until next time.